In this video, we are going to discuss about how to refresh a Power BI dataset using a button inside a Power BI itself. This is a kind of strange thing, right? If you ask about how and why I want to refresh this in Power BI report itself. So if you are using a direct query mode, it doesn't matter. But if you are using an import mode and you have made some changes to the backend database for this one and you want to refresh this and uh, you don't have access to refresh this data set. In that case, the admin has given you only these options about how to do that. Um, you can do this in Power Automate to refresh the Power BI data set. So for this, you need to go to Power Automate flow.microsoft.com. So first of all, you need to come to app.powerbi.com and open your report in Power BI service itself. And if you edit this report, this will give you this uh, desktop kind of appearance. And here we have a visual, right? Power Automate visuals. So if you click on this one, then it will give you this option about you need to drag and drop a field here and then only you can able to do that. But ideally, if you click on this three dot icon of this visual, then you can click on edit here. This will open up this Power Automate interface inside to this Power BI desktop itself. That's the beauty of this Power Platform and Office features, right? We can open up these kind of applications inside to this one itself. So here we have two available flow. If you want to use that, we can make use of this itself. But if you want to create a new one, then if you click here and click on Instant Cloud Flow, ideally how this will look like is if I did this one, and if you click on this instant load flow, then this will add automatically the first step, which is on Power BI button click. And after that, you need to click on this plus icon and you need to click on add an action. If I click here and then search for Power BI and click select here. And after that, if I click on search for refresh, then under action tab, I'm going to see this one refresh a data set. So if you select this one, then it will ask you for these two options. One is you need to select the workspace from the list of workspace, what you have access and also you need to select the data set to which you have access also. So once you select these two things and then you need to click on save and save and apply and then back to report. So this flow is going to apply for this particular uh, button basically the power automate button. I'm going to remove this because this is the one which I have used here. So now if I go back to Power BI workspace here, I just want to show you the refresh history of this data set. And uh, this is the workspace and the region sales is this is the one if I click on this and go to settings of this one, then click on refresh history. Then you can see the refresh history happened via API, which is on 31st March. And now if I go back to the report and setting it to be a reading view, yeah, save the changes and clicking on, this is now you are viewing the report as usual and click on run flow. So for this also, you need to have access permission for these things. So now it seems to triggered and now it's again stayed on run flow. It means the flow has run successfully. Uh, if I go back to this Power BI flow, I mean, if I go back to this flow and look for the refresh history, if I click on search here, then you can see this is happened at 22 seconds ago and it is succeeded here. Now, if I go back to Power BI data set and click on refresh history, now you can see as I'm recording this video, so this is the time it is refreshed now. So first of April and this is the time. So close this one. So this is how you can able to refresh the data set in Power BI service using a Power Automate visual inside a Power BI desktop. It's kind of confusing, right? Refresh the same Power BI data set inside to a report and using Power Automate. So ideally, you should not have to do this also because if you are want to do this kind of thing, you can do that. Or also, if you have multiple report and you want to just keep a separate report only to refresh these reports, then also you can do that. But one thing I want to highlight here, this is going to use a Power BI Pro 
it means you can able to refresh only eight times in a day if you are going to use the power bi premium thing then you can do this kind of way only 48 times in a day if you are using an xml endpoint endpoint refresh then you can do unlimited times via api or through powershell script if you are doing you can also do unlimited number of times so i made a separate video about those things also if you want to go and check out that video as well if you like this video just click on the big thumbs up button if you are new to this channel or if you haven't subscribed yet just click on the subscribe button and also press the bell icon to get the latest notifications but make sure you turn on the notification on your devices share it with your friends and colleagues if you have any queries and feedback just post it on the comment section below thanks for watching keep learning see you in the next video